Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and today we are going to take a look at a brand new launcher that a ton of people are talking about and that is the Ratio Launcher from Block. But what is the Ratio Launcher and why is everybody talking about it? Well, the Ratio Launcher comes from a company called Block. Now they originally made a smartphone with the launcher built in as the ultimate minimal smartphone. The phone was called the Block 018 and it was originally on sale for $199 in the US only. Now this quickly changed and they began to allow the launcher to be installed on other Android devices. But not all devices though, only a select few which are now on screen. So once you know your device works, head over to the site to request an invite. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I've put in my email address to get an invite code to use the ratio launcher and it is going to take around 2-3 to three weeks to get that invite code but once I've done that, I'm going to make a full in-depth review of the launcher itself. It's all going to be included in this video, so there will be a time jump in just a moment. But the reason why is because everyone's talking about it and it does act a lot differently to a standard launch that you may find on Android. For starters, you can't download it from the Google Play Store. It does require an invite. And there is also a desktop companion app to go along with it, which I'm really excited to take a look at. So let's take a trip through time. And we are back. It's been around about two to three weeks now since that initial part of the video. I've now got my invite all ready to go for my OnePlus 7T for the ratio launcher from Block. I've also got the Block installation application installed on my iMac as well. So we're pretty much set and ready to go. Now I'm going to be going through the installation process of the actual launcher itself. So let's take a look. So the first thing that you want to do is launch the Ratio Launcher application here on my iMac and then once it's launched you're pretty much set and ready to go and like I mentioned this is actually key to the install because you've got things like photo transfer, notes transfer plus a ton more so now let's switch over to the screen recording. Okay, so all you have to do is head down to the install option and we've got two options here. We've got one for the ratio launcher and one for Z18 OS, which is for that phone that I mentioned at the start of this video. But for us, all we need is the launcher. So you will also need to do some things on your mobile device here. So I've got my OnePlus 7T all set up and ready to go. I'm just gonna quickly turn on a screen recorder so that I can get a recording of this for you guys. So you can see exactly what I'm doing on both my iMac and also my phone. So all it says is go into your settings, go down to your about phone section and then press on the build number seven times and that's then going to enable your developer options. You will then need to also enter your password so I'm just going to do that really quickly as well and then you're all set, ready to go and then you now have the developer options on your device. So if we just click on next, we then need to turn on USB debugging. So again, back into the settings and the easiest way to do it is to search for USB debugging in the search bar. And then once that comes up, all you then need to do is turn that on and that's pretty much everything set up and ready to go on the device itself. It then says to connect my phone with the USB, so I'm just going to do that now. And I should also have a pop up to allow USB debugging, which I guess I have to click allow and it's not doing it for some reason. Ah, okay, mine's just skipped forward to the enter verification code, and that is gonna be the code that you get on your email direct from Block to actually get the launcher installed on your device. So let me just go ahead and get that now. So I've now got my code. I'm just gonna copy and paste it into the verification field and click on confirm. And now it's gonna be installing the block ratio launcher. It's also gonna be downloading the newest version. So what that's gonna do is make sure that I've got the most up-to-date version, which as you can see just here, that is going to be 3.2.1 for June 10th, 2020. So it's really, really up-to-date. We're then going to click on next and now it's going to be asking us for all of the permissions. Now this is going to have to basically have access to everything on your phone. So be able to read and write SMS, contacts, call log, calendar, phone status, pretty much everything you're going to have to allow. Now you can revoke or change these permissions at any time, but this launcher is completely going to change your device. So you will have to allow a ton of these permissions. So let's just go ahead and do that now. We then got the terms and conditions, which obviously everyone going to read, click on accept and then click on next. And now it's just going to be installing the ratio launcher. And this is going to be taking it from the desktop application over to my OnePlus 7T. 
and hopefully this process doesn't take too long. It should just be installing an application like, oh, okay, it's done. For some reason I can see on my phone it's saying no valid license key found which is a little bit strange. I'll have a look into that and okay that's gone cool. So everything seems to have installed successfully, everything is done and I can see here that now on my OnePlus 7T it now has the ratio launcher. I will need to allow the location services but we're pretty much set and ready to go. And for now guys that is going to do it for this video. I've got the launcher all set up here on my device. I honestly don't really have any idea how it actually works. I can see that you can click into these menus here, you can collapse the menus and, and bring them back, but I'm not really sure how the actual launcher works, all of the features that it has or doesn't have, so I'm going to be using this as my only launcher for the next two weeks, and then I'll be coming back to give you guys a full in-depth review of the ratio launcher to see if all the hype is actually worth it. Now if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a thumbs up down below and if you've got any questions or comments about the ratio launcher that you want me to find out while using it let me know in that comment section or on twitter at copper versus glass for more great content don't forget to subscribe and once you're subscribed turn on those notifications so you're notified anytime i post a new video here on the channel i'm michael from copper versus glass i'm going to try and get to grips with this new launcher from block and i'll catch you guys in the next video video disclaimer I did not travel through time in this video. I do not hold possession of a time machine. I in fact forgot to record an intro to this video three weeks ago. So legally, I must state that I changed my top and waited for a change to the time of day to record the intro. If however you have access to a time machine and would like to feature it on this channel, my product email is in the description of this video. Thank you. I wish Back to the Future was real.